Hi there, it's Ryan from Android in Canada, and this is my review today of the Toshiba AT200, uh, sometimes known as the Toshiba Excite. So, here we have it. It is the world's thinnest and lightest tablet, as they, they claim, uh, and it definitely does feel light. I mean, I'm pretty much used to my Asus Transformer tablet, which is pretty bulky, a lot of bezel. This thing has a little bezel, a little build on the outside. So there you have it. It's pretty, pretty nice, and it's pretty portable for that, for that sense. Um, what you tend to sacrifice for that portability, unfortunately, it feels a little flimsy. I know I don't know if you guys can catch this on the screen or not. I'm, if you just ever so flex, pick it up a little bit and just give it a little bit of a flex, it um, it gets little LCD ripples or LED ripples in there. I think so you can see it feels just a little flimsy in that build. So, okay, that's the build. Uh, on the side, you're gonna get uh, your power, your volume rocker, and you get a little switch that controls basically either put it into sort of a hold mode or lock the rotation mode. And then on the other side, we have, uh, you know, our micro SD adapter. We have mini HDMI out, headphone, of course, and which is really neat, uh, micro USB support, which is something you don't really normally see in a lot of tablets. Um, it charges ever so slowly with it, but it can charge. And if you're like me, you have a lot of micro USB cables kicking around. It's kind of nice to have that in one sort of device. Other than that, that's it. Um, speakers are at the bottom here, and they are loud. I must admit, they are pretty loud. That is kind of cool. So have making sure that you have a pretty loud tablet. You know, because you're probably watching movies on it if you don't have your headphones on it's going to be noticeable. Uh, aside from that, so you take a look inside of it, the really kind of sucky thing is that it comes with uh, Android 3.2.1, which feels pretty archaic, especially if you've gone to ICS and any device going back to Honeycomb just feels uh, laggy. And so the device feels really slow, not super fast and, and snappy like you, you would expect this a uh, you know, much faster device. But my my Acer feels a little bit snappier for that sense, and that's maybe just it's the UI. I mean, um, but that's just because you know, I think uh, ICS is pretty well optimized as best as it can. Um, so yeah, so smallest tablet, world's I think largest charger. Um, this is ridiculously huge. So which is why I'm really grateful that they gave that little connector for uh, the micro USB port so I don't have to worry about lugging that thing around because that is pretty funny in comparison. Uh, you also have vibration in this thing. Uh, it was kind of weird. I don't know why you would have that in a tablet, but you get it. So I, I haven't really quite got, got used to it. I, I've left it on to sort of to see if I would eventually like it, but uh, no. That's just me. Uh, the battery use hasn't been super impressive, but then again, because you're, you're, you're trading off on such a small device, you probably aren't getting uh, as much battery into it as you probably had with another device. Um, yeah, so my thoughts also on it, no screenshots, so it's gonna be very hard for me to do some screenshots for the review tomorrow. Uh, I thought that was built into Honeycomb as a sort of native feature, but it's not apparently, or at least not on this guy. Um, when you get ICS, it will have that built in, but I've keep checking this thing to see when it's going to ICS. I can't seem to find any dates or any sort of uh, feature on it. In terms of the apps, what's really neat is you get uh, Think Office uh, Mobile free, and what I really like is how they've kind of split it up into you know the different uh, separate apps. So you have Calc, you have Write and Show as three different. So that's that's kind of neat. Uh, you get McAfee security and you get Norton security. I haven't really played around with it, but hey, you get some security if you're sort of into that game. You get Printer Share, which for me worked right out of the box. I picked up a couple of the printers in our office, started working no problem. Um, yeah, uh, some other things you know, Tune Wiki. Uh, Splashtop HD, so if you want to sync with your, your PC in there as well, which uh, 
a lot of people I know I've run into, that's their main use of their desk, their tablet. And so when they're on the go, they can actually still access stuff on their computer in the same way. Um, and that's pretty much it, how I thought about it. It's a little pricey if you've looked around to see how much it costs. I mean, you may pick up uh, some other models for a little bit cheaper than that, but you're going to get a lot of wow factor over how tiny this is. You're going to hang it up next to your, your friend's um, iPad, and they're going to go, ooh. So it, it's kind of cool. Uh, I really enjoyed it. Like I said, it's a little laggy, I find. Like, not super fast. Uh, the screen isn't quite as good, and that's just probably because of the build. Uh, if you've ever put your tablet down and try to press a button, sometimes it doesn't always respond the way you'd want it to, just because it has a little bit of give, or if you put it on like on a, on, on a uh, couch or something. So the same thing I find, because it's a little soft, or a little soft feeling in the build, uh, sometimes the buttons don't quite respond the same way that you would expect them to. Yeah, it's not quite as, as fluid a feel. Uh, however, you plunk into it certain apps and it has no lag in the app itself. I think all the lag tends to be just in the UI. So, um, that, yeah. So, no problem running around and doing things in like that. Sounds really good, so. But uh, other than that, works pretty well. Uh, Toshiba AT200, I think we can pick it up at several locations now. And I'll put more information on the blog. Thanks for listening.